you've found that all animals today are fairly modern? Oh, how wrong you are. There are a lot of animal species alive today that are practically ancient, unchanged despite surviving for millions of years. The animal on number one could be the oldest of them all, so make sure you stay tuned to find out what it is. Here are 15 prehistoric creatures that are still alive today. Number 15. The Gharial. All crocodiles, caimans, and alligators are ancient species, and they look the part. But one species of crocodilian, the gharial, sometimes called a gavil, beats them all in the prehistoric-looking beauty contest. Gharials have long, narrow, sword-like mouths full of buzzy teeth. Males develop a huge, bulbous nose at the end of their snout, making them look rather comical. Gharials, in some form or another, have been around for tens of millions of years, but the modern gharial is the last remaining species of this lineage. Alas, it too is heading towards extinction, with fewer than 200 individual reproducing gharials out in the wilds of India and Bangladesh. Number 14. The Komodo Dragon You can find Komodo dragons in Indonesia today, but that might not be where the iconic lizard came from originally. Scientists recently unearthed a series of Komodo dragon fossils in eastern Australia dating back as far as 4 million years ago. These gigantic lizards can weigh as much, sometimes even more, than a human. And in fact, they have been known to attack humans as well. You see, that is not an ideal situation, since these giant reptiles are somewhat venomous. However, if you're still feeling brave, you can see Komodo dragons by booking with one of several outfitters leading excursions to Komodo National Park. The small Indonesian islands that make up this park are stunning and offer many amenities for curious tourists. Just remember, no petting. Number 13. The Bactrian Camel You already know about the one-humped camel used as transport in the Middle East before automobiles existed. But did you know that they evolved from the two-humped Bactrian Camel, which still roams the wilds of the Gobi Desert in Mongolia? Bactrian camels, which kind of look like a cross between Chewbacca and a llama, a Chubalama, if you will, evolved to withstand temperatures below 0 degrees Fahrenheit and above 100 degrees Fahrenheit some 2 million years ago. Its two humps are used to store fat, much like its one-humped cousin, which the camel breaks down into energy and water to sustain it during long, dry, food-free periods. Number 12. The Alligator Gar The freshwater alligator gar is another fish that you definitely don't want to find yourself staring at while swimming in the southern U.S., even though they technically pose no threat to humans, so far. These fish are as formidable as their namesake, the alligators, with flat snouts full of razor-sharp teeth and a body size that can range up to 300 pounds. This interesting animal also swam with the dinosaurs, and it's believed to be 100 million years old. Today, one of the best spots to see alligator gar, aside from these serene southern waterways, is at the Tennessee Aquarium. Number 11. The Echidna. Echidnas are amazing and bizarre creatures that look like a cross between a badger, a porcupine, and an anteater. They're monotreme, a type of primitive animal that lays eggs instead of giving birth to live babies, just like their more famous relative, the duck-billed platypus. These animals can also be hard to find in the wild, since they're small, mostly nocturnal, and live a spaced out and solitary life, only getting together to mate. Several species of echidna are also highly endangered. Pretty sad fact, considering that these animals have been roaming the Earth for an estimated 17 or so million years. Number 10. The Vicuna. Vicunas are the prehistoric ancestors of the alpaca, and much like its descendant, are very well known for their fur. The two animals look very similar indeed, though vicunas have a distinctive color pattern with white undersides and a brown saddle across most of their body. Although vicunas were treasured by the Incas and protected, they were nearly driven to extinction by hunting after the Inca Empire fell. Happily, thanks to the work of many dedicated conservationists, there are hundreds of thousands of vicunas in the world today. You can see them throughout the world in rural roads in south-central Peru, but one of the best places is in the Huascaran National Park north of Lima. Number 9. The Tapir Tapirs bear an uncanny resemblance to modern-day pigs, except for one glaring key feature, a short, elephant-like proboscis that they use for roping food into their mouths. Tapirs also use their long snouts as snorkels while walking around underwater, one of their favorite pastimes. While tapirs do look rather pig-like, they're actually more closely related to horses and rhinoceroses. In fact, tapirs have a long, proud history in the fossil record, having first evolved in the Miocene Epoch, as late as 23 million years ago. 
They evolved into numerous species since then, although today there are only five remaining tapir species left across Asia, Central, and South America. One of the best places to see wild tapirs in the Americas is at Corcovado National Park in the breathtaking Costa Rica region. They can also be found throughout the Amazon rainforest as well. Number 8. The Wabagong Shark If you're not looking carefully while on a tropical Pacific Reef dive, you might miss seeing a Wabagong Shark. In fact, these creatures are specifically trying to hide from you, using their flattened bodies, frilly edges, and camouflage patterns to blend in with the algae-covered rock. But once they start swimming and you see their smooth white bellies, the gig is up. There is no mistaking a swimming Wabagong. These sharks, which have been around since the Miocene Epoch, some 11 million years ago, are still found in a couple different species, and most are too small to harm people. A few Wabagong shark attacks have been reported, but there have been no fatalities, and it's likely that the injured parties just accidentally stepped on them or got too close while diving. Number 7. The Horseshoe Crab Horseshoe crabs are one of the oldest species on Earth, having been around in more or less the same form since the Ordovician period, some 445 million years ago. Back in those days, the continents still hadn't formed yet. There was one single supercontinent called Gondwanaland, and horseshoe crabs could be found in abundance around its shores even then. Today, you can find millions of horseshoe crabs in Delaware Bay yearly around May as the clunky, helmet-shaped creatures return to the beaches to breed. It's the single largest concentration of horseshoe crabs in the world. While you're there, keep an eye out for rarely seen shoe birds like the Red Knot and Ruddy Turnstone, which make a deliberate beeline here during their annual northward migration to feast on the abundance of horseshoe crab eggs. Number 6. The Tuatara Sure, the Tuatara might look like your everyday iguana-esque lizard, but don't let the superficial appearance deceive you. This ancient reptile is believed to have existed at the same time as the dinosaurs, some 225 million years ago. Today, the Tuatara's body contains clues of this ancient history. Indeed, they actually have a primitive third eye on the top of their head, although it's hard to see and sometimes grown over with scales in adults. Scientists believe this is an archaic sort of light sensor, which the reptile uses to set their daily and seasonal biological functions. In addition, Tuataras can still hear sounds, even though they have no outside ears, kind of like modern-day reptiles. This is similar to how fish hear sounds underwater. Tuataras can be found in New Zealand. Unfortunately, you can't really see them very easily in the wild, since they mostly live on predator-free islands nowadays. Number 5. The Chinese Giant Salamander Jurassic Park may be a fictional story, but there actually are animals from that time period that still roam the Earth today. The Chinese giant salamander, which is an estimated 170 million years old, is one of them. It is also the largest amphibian in the world, as it can grow to even larger than some people and up to 110 pounds and 6 feet in length. These giant salamanders used to be found widespread in chilly Chinese mountain streams, but there are hardly any left in the wild at all now due to poaching for food and traditional medicine. But if we've piqued your interest, you can still see one amazing example of this animal in the Prague Zoo. Carlo, one of the world's largest living Chinese giant salamanders who weighs in at a whopping 77 pounds, is currently quite healthy and will hopefully be around for decades to come. Number 4. The Whale Shark the name whale shark is a bit of a misnomer. This animal is not a whale at all. In fact, it's the largest shark in the world. It's also the largest fish in the world. What's more, it's been swimming around in the ocean for at least 28 million years. These gigantic sharks can actually be found all around the equator, but seeing them isn't as simple as that statement suggests. First, you have to rent a boat, and since these animals are endangered, finding them even while out on the water is a tall order. A better option is to visit the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta. It's home to some of the world's only captive whale sharks, and you can even swim with them for a fee. Number 3. The Lake Sturgeon Speaking of old fish, another amazing aquatic animal to check out is the Lake Sturgeon. This ancient fish actually swam around with the dinosaurs, having shown up on the map since 150 million years ago, and it still swims around the U.S. today. It's also a bizarre animal in its own right. Lake sturgeons have no scales, only rubbery skin and a few rows of bony scutes, and they can grow up to be over 7 feet long and weigh 300 pounds. 
As with the whale sharks, lake sturgeon populations are dwindling, but you can see them reliably by visiting Shedd Aquarium along Chicago's Lake Michigan coastline. The aquarium even has an interactive sturgeon touch pool where you can feel the creature's bony skeets for yourself. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is an animal that, like all other animals on this list, has existed on Earth since prehistoric times. What animal am I talking about? Find out next with number two, the lamprey. Among the most primitive of all vertebrate species, the sea lamprey is a parasitic fish native to the northern and western Atlantic Ocean. Due to their similar body shapes, lampreys are sometimes inaccurately called lamprey eels. Unlike bony fishes like trout, cod, and herring, lampreys lack scales, fins, and gill covers. Much like sharks, though, their skeletons are made of cartilage. They breathe through a distinctive row of seven pairs of tiny gill openings located behind their mouths and eyes. Sea lampreys invaded the Great Lakes in the 1830s via the Welland Canal, which connects Lakes Ontario and Erie and forms a key section of the St. Lawrence Seaway. Within a decade, they had gained access to all five Great Lakes, where they quickly set to work predating on the lake's commercially important fishes, which include trout, whitefish, perch, and sturgeon. Within a century, the trout fishery had collapsed, largely due to the lampreys' unchecked proliferation. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Chambered Nautilus the chambered nautilus normally lives in the deep ocean around Australia and Indonesia, but if you happen to be in the area of the famous Monterey Bay Aquarium in California, you can see the ancient creature up close. These alien-looking corkscrew-shaped animals are among the oldest in the world. Fossils of this animal have been found from 500 million years ago, and they still look exactly the same as today's descendants. They're difficult to breed in captivity, and due to declining populations in the wild, which is unfortunately a trend for all animals on this list, except for the lamprey, the Monterey Bay Aquarium is at the forefront of research efforts. In fact, in spring 2018, researchers successfully bred some of the first baby nautiluses in captivity. And that's our script for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that said, why not give a check out to some of our other videos on the screen. With all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.